What's up YouTube, it's Robo13 and I'm going to show you how to transfer files from your iPod, your iPhone, or your iPad to your computer. Um, Apple tends to have more and more security uh, blocks on their products such as trying to transfer music from your iPod to your computer or uh, from your iPad to your computer or your iPhone. Um, Say you get a new computer just like I just got this new computer and I wanted to transfer all of my music from my iPod to my new computer, but there's no easy way to do it. But now there's a there's a cool app. It's called uh, Discade. It's a program that you can download, and um, it lets you it lets you transfer the music from your iPod straight to your computer. So um, go to Discade.com and I will actually give you the link in the description, um, and you click. Uh, you just come to this web page, click download, and it says download Discade for PC and for Mac. You can click on either one, it works with everything. Uh, so you click that, this will pop up, you just click save file. After you save and you install it, you will then get um, this file called Discade. So then you open up Discade, and it, and it looks like this. It says there's a trial down here, trial mode. Um, you get a 14-day trial, but I will also show you how to get rid of that. Um, not get rid of it, but the, have it so that it will never uh, uh, make you stop. Y you can use it forever, pretty much. Um, I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. But So, uh, download Discade, get it open on your computer, and now it says to uh, plug in your iPod, your iPhone, or your iPad. Um, if you look down here, it says it's looking for it, and please plug it in. So, I'm going to plug in my iPod Touch right now. Okay, just plugged in my iPod Touch. Exit out of that. Don't show that at startup. Alright, and now uh, iTunes might pop up. Just let that go. Uh, cancel that. Minimize that. Alright, um, and now this will pop up. It's uh, the Discade program itself. Now it says, um, it says start here, copy to PC, copy folder to device, and all this extra stuff. Don't worry about any of that. Uh, what you need to do first is come down here, click on Media, select OK, then go down to iTunes Control, open that up, then go down to Music. All right. Now you'll see all of these different files. Um, I have F00 through F49, so I have 50 different files um, with the music in here. I don't know how many you guys are going to have, but this is how many I have. Um, and now what you do, you just uh, left click, press Control A, it'll select all of them, or you can uh, drag and select them all like that, or you can click the, um, you can hold and shift, and then scroll all the way up or all the way down, and then click again, and it'll select them all. But either way, select all those files, then right click and click on Copy to PC. Okay. Then after you click that, it will then download all, it will start copying it from your iPod or your iPhone or your iPad, and it will copy it to a folder on your desktop. All right. Um, and then after you, I'll show you what happens after that. So now, when you do that, it will show up like this. It will be, be a folder just like this. Um, if you click on that, you will have all of these folders inside of that folder. And then what you can do is you just open up iTunes, bring that over there, open up iTunes, and then you can just drag and drop the uh, the folder straight into your iTunes library. All right, and then I'll copy it right over, and then you'll have all the songs that you had on your iPod, your uh, iPhone, and your iPad, um, and, and it should work perfectly. The only downside is that uh, Discade says that there is a trial. That is true, but I know how to get rid of it, all right? So uh, follow me, and I'll show you exactly how to make it so that that number right there will always say 14. I've had this for about a month now, and that still says 14 days left, and that still lets me use it. So don't worry about it uh, saying that. It will always let you use it. So what you're going to want to do first is click on your Start menu, then go to Control Panel, click on Appearance and Personalization, go down to Folder Options, click on view and then go down to where it says hidden files and folders and you're going to want to click 
show hidden files and folders and drives all right so click on the show hidden files and folders click apply and then click OK all right that'll let you uh, see the hidden files that your computer uh, keeps hidden so that you don't really see them um, obviously uh, next you're gonna come down to start and if you have Windows 7 you're gonna type in percent symbol app data app data then another percent symbol if you have Windows XP you're just gonna type in app data in the search for it click on it after you click on it you're gonna find this folder and then it'll it'll show it'll look like this and then you're gonna click on roaming and then come down and then scroll down until you see disk aid and then when you see disk aid right click and delete don't worry it won't delete the program itself it'll just delete the files that it has so you click delete after it's deleted um, you will you, you'll then be set you will always have 14 days left uh, set on your computer because the file itself is deleted so it doesn't even think it has it anymore so it thinks it's gone already but that's how you use it and it'll it and from now on it'll work for the rest of your life I guess until it gets updated or not but if uh, if Discate ever does say uh, update for this you can just you can always just click no um, this is the newest version of Discate right now so it's May 19th as you can see right here um, and it and it works for me so Hopefully this works for you guys. Let me know what you think. If this does work, po post a comment below. If it doesn't work, uh, tell me what what you're stuck on, and I'll try to help you with that. Um, this is a very simple way to get all your music that you want from your iPod or your iPhone and stuff to your computer and then to your iTunes and then to other devices. So um, Apple tries to stop everybody from doing things like this, but there will always be people out there who can figure it out um, and and help people around the world who can who can do this kind of stuff. So. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Uh, remember to subscribe to me for new videos. Go to my Twitter account. Go to twitter.com slash dtrobo13. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, click follow me. I only have two followers. Uh, I haven't been doing very much with the Twitter, but I want to start doing that now. Uh, get more people following me so I can get more news out there and stuff like that. Um, and also, if you go to my channel, you'll, you'll come down here. And you'll see right here, it'll say uh, subscribe and all that stuff. And you can also add me as a friend. I want you guys to send me a friend request, please. And also subscribe to me. It helps out a ton. Um, so send me a friend request, subscribe to me, follow me on Twitter, like this video so other people can see it. Um, it helps me out so much. You guys have no idea. Once I reach 1,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a huge uh, giveaway. So look forward to that. Um, and just thank you guys so much for everything you've done for me the past couple months. I have almost 700 subscribers which is huge. Uh, I'm so happy about that and I love YouTube so much. It's just it's uh, it's starting to just change my life. Alright so thank you guys again. Subscribe to me for new videos and post a comment below. Alright thanks guys.